Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. A right triangle contains an inscribed rectangle as shown. The distance from the top of the rectangle to the top vertex of the triangle is equal to 4 units. The distance from the right side of the rectangle to the right vertex is equal to 3 units. Part 1. What is the area of the rectangle equal to? Part 2. What is the minimum area for a triangle that satisfies these conditions? I find part 2 to be particularly interesting because variations of it have been used in university entrance exams and in job interviews. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. We will first solve for the area of the rectangle, and then we will solve for the minimum area of the triangle. So let's get started with part one. We have a right triangle. We'll label the right angle. Suppose one angle is equal to A and the other angle is equal to B. Now construct the rectangle. We have right angles here and here. In this right triangle, one angle is equal to A, which means the other angle will be equal to B. Then in this right triangle, one angle is equal to B, which means the other angle will be equal to A. Thus, these two right triangles are similar to each other. Now we are given that this leg is equal to 4 and this other leg is equal to 3. Suppose the rectangle has a horizontal length equal to x and a vertical length equal to y. Because these two right triangles are similar, we have 4 divided by x is equal to y divided by 3. We can then cross multiply to get that x times y is equal to 4 times 3, which is equal to 12. But x times y is exactly the area of the rectangle. Thus, the area of the rectangle is always equal to 12. That's the answer to part 1. Now, let's solve for part 2, the minimum area for a triangle that satisfies these conditions. Here is one such triangle that satisfies these conditions. We can measure the base of the triangle and the height of the triangle, and we'll calculate the triangle's area as one half the base times the height. We can then vary the parameters of this triangle. We can change the value of the base of the triangle, and the height will adjust accordingly. We'll see that each triangle has a different area. The question is what is the minimum area for a triangle that satisfies these conditions? How do we solve that? First, we will write an expression for the area of this large triangle. It'll be equal to the sum of the following three areas. One area is the area of this right triangle. This right triangle has an area that's equal to 4x over 2. We then add the area of this triangle which is equal to 3y over 2. Finally, we add the area of this rectangle, which is equal to x times y. We already solved that x times y is equal to 12, so we can substitute that in. Then we can solve this equation for y. y is equal to 12 over x. We can then substitute in for y. We will then simplify this expression it'll be equal to 18 divided by x. We now have a formula for the area of the large triangle just in terms of the variable x. It'll be equal to 2x plus 18 over x plus 12. We'll say this is f of x and that's the area of the large triangle. We want to minimize this area. So we'll take the first derivative which will be equal to 2 minus 18 over x squared. We'll set that equal to 0. We thus have 2 is equal to 18 over x squared, which means that x squared is equal to 18 over 2, which is equal to 9. Then x is equal to 3 because we only want to consider positive lengths. We want x to be greater than 0. x equals 3 is a critical value 
and we can check using the second derivative test that this is indeed a minimum. Thus, the minimum area will happen when x is equal to 3. From here, we can substitute in. We can see that x is equal to 3 will correspond that y is equal to 4. So interestingly, the area is minimum when these two small right triangles are congruent. Then what is the area of the large triangle? We'll substitute in for f of x and then simplify. We'll get that f of 3 is equal to 24 units squared, and that's the answer. That's the minimum area for a triangle that satisfies these conditions. What an interesting interview question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.